Hello, sweetest friends. This week is Parsha Truma. Several items in the Mishkan, also known as the Tabernacle, are discussed. One of the items mentioned is the showbread, also known as the Lechem Hapanim. Literally, if we translate it, it comes to mean bread of the faces or bread of the inside, the internal. An interesting halacha about this comes to bring home to me a happy thought. What do I mean? Well, the halacha states that the bread must remain on the table, known as the shulchan, tamid, all the time. In addition to this condition of remaining on the table, exposed and out all the time, the bread had a miraculous property. It remained fresh all the time. It never went bad. It never went sour. Not ever. Wow! But I ask you this. How did the bread stay on the table all of the time? After all, they had to replace it from time to time. If you remove one loaf, it's got to take literally one second for the next loaf to get on there. At least. No, no, no. They used sliders. So as they were taking one loaf off, they were putting another one on at the same time. Replacing it with an equal loaf instantaneously. A new loaf that was as fresh and delicious as the one before it. But the halachot about the bread don't end there. Our sages teach us that the word tamid represents the fact that the bread was always on the table all the time, exposed and fresh. Even while the Jews were traveling in the desert and everything else in the tabernacle got packed up, the bread had to remain exposed on the table the whole time, out in the open. Additionally, nothing kept the Jews away from performing this mitzvah, even if they were impure. The obligation of the lechem apanim, the showbread, remained the same all the time. Now I know what you're thinking, Jews and food, it always gets interesting. But really, I came to think about this, that the lechem hapanim, the bread of our faces, the bread of our insides, has to remain exposed all the time. It was to remain fresh out in the open. This got me thinking, your face is probably the deepest part of you, or at least the deepest part of you which others can see. In this, we see a simple lesson that the Jews are supposed to take from the simple command of the bread. No matter where you go, no matter who you are, Kohen, Yisrael, pure or impure, you have a face and God trusts you to make it shine, make it glow, make it show. Whether you are traveling and somewhat tired in the comfort of your own home when not too many are around you, keep it fresh, keep it clean. Ivdu et Hashem b'simcha to live lives of servitude in happiness is the banner of a Jew of yesteryear until today. Remember the lechem upon him and smile. Shabbat shalom.